I wonder, have you ever tried doing knitting? It's quite complicated, isn't it? I don't know how to do it. I've tried a few times, but I just kept ending up getting in an awful tangle and a muddle. Did you know that knitting is in the Bible? Back in the Old Testament, King David uses the picture of God knitting to describe how a baby is put together by God in its mummy's tummy. So God isn't actually knitting us, but it's as if he is taking great care and love as he makes us. He doesn't get knotted and tangled and put bits in the wrong place, but he creates us as we grow in our mummy's tummy. Skip forward to the New Testament into Luke and we're learning all about a lady who is growing a baby in her tummy. Elizabeth had been told by an angel who visited her husband that she was going to have a baby in her old age. It had seemed impossible, yet here was the baby growing in her tummy. And God is knitting him together, making sure that he's growing well and safely. But God actually chooses to use this baby, who we know is going to be called John, to do more than just grow. He's choosing to use baby John to praise God, even while he's still in, in Elizabeth's tummy, before he's even been born. So let's recap to last week and we heard that Mary had also had a visit from an angel and had also been told that she was going to have a baby even though she wasn't married which seemed even more impossible than, than Elizabeth having a baby. As soon as Mary's heard this news from the angel she rushes to visit her cousin Elizabeth and as she gets to Elizabeth's house she calls out to let Elizabeth know that she's there. And when Elizabeth hears Mary's voice, baby John leaps for joy. And Elizabeth straight away realises that it's Mary that God has chosen to be Jesus's mum. Wow, it's amazing. This tiny little baby has leapt for joy because he has recognised the importance of who Mary is and the importance of what God is going to do. I wonder when the last time was that you leapt for joy. There's so many gloomy things happening at the moment. Maybe you just don't feel like leaping for joy. But you know, baby John was leaping for joy, not because of what was going on in the world around him, but because he knew that God had something amazing planned. He knew that God loved him. He knew that Jesus was coming to be his saviour. And that meant he wanted to praise God and leap for joy even before he was born. That's quite amazing. Have you ever leapt for joy just because of who God is? Have you ever leapt for joy because of Jesus being your saviour? Maybe you think you're a little bit too little to know how to praise God. Maybe you're just a toddler and you're not sure if you can praise God. Well this story tells us that yes you can, the tiniest of babies and the tiniest of little children can praise God by leaping for joy. And not only can you praise God, but you can encourage those around you to praise God, just as John helped his mum Elizabeth to praise God. Maybe you're a bit more like Mary, maybe you're a teenager and you think you're a bit beyond leaping for joy. Well, next week we'll find out how Mary responds. Or maybe you're more like Elizabeth. You think, well, I'm just too old. If I tried leaping for joy, I'd do myself an injury. Well, maybe we can leap for joy anyway. Maybe we can find those moments in our lives this week when we can just leap for joy, not because of what's going on around us, but just because of who God is and the amazing plan that he had to send Jesus to be our saviour.